Hello guys and welcome back to Creative Process DIY. In today's video I'm going to be finishing the installation of my mini split system. This is part 2 and my friend is going to be helping me to install it. He got his mini split system installed about a month ago, so he has all the tools we need. When installing an outdoor unit, refer to installation space requirements. Now I'm going to start connecting pipes to indoor unit. What's inside? Nitrogen. Yeah, it's just nitrogen. It's what they use because it's an inert gas that won't clog up the system. Align the center of the two pipes that you will connect. Tighten the flare nut as tightly as possible by hand. While firmly holding the nut on the unit tubing, use a wrench to tighten the flare nut. This one's going to go to the closest one, it's going to be your top one. And that one further down, okay? Can you over tight? You need to watch your line, and when it starts to kind of turn, mm -hmm. that's then, then enough. that's it. Because if you over tight, you break the seal, you break the ring, and the copper will split, and then, mm. and then you'll end up with a leak. You see that? It'll, it'll want to turn with it, and that's enough. You gotta have a special fitting for the mini splits. That looks good. right there. Put that to 200 PSI. Alright. Good? We're good right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna watch it, okay? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> See that? I'm at 210.3, 210.3. This will time me, and this will tell me if I lose anything. Is it li still leaking, right? Yeah, in three minutes it's only managed to drop 0 0.01, now it'll fluctuate with the heat and the ambient temperature and stuff. So it's nothing, right? No. When preparing refrigerant pipes, take extra care to cut and flare them properly. This will ensure efficient operation and minimize the need for future maintenance. Let's to clean out the copper. Bubble. That's where, that's where you're leaking. To get rid of this leak, we have to cut the pipe end and flare pipe end again. The second time was successful and we don't have any leaks. So you could have another one here, another one here. If you bought the right one, you'd have four heads, one compressor. Before performing any electrical or wiring work, turn off the main power to the system. The cable I got came with pre-installed U-Lux from the factory. Attach three leads of the signal wire to one to three locks of the terminal block and ground wire to ground lock on the metal panel to ensure a tight connection. Don't forget to fasten the cable to the unit using the cable clamp. Replace the wire cover on the side of the unit and screw it into place. Come on, I gotta get off of this mode. What it's supposed to show this weapon? I'll show you here in a minute. I gotta hook up my micro and gauge to this side. Start registering here in a minute. What exactly are we doing? 
where we're, we're cleaning out all the impurities in the lime. So all the moisture and all that will eventually boil it down and disappear. So this is your microns right here. Right now we're at 421 microns. That's yeah. great. The perfect, the perfect vacuum is 300 microns. So we're waiting for 300. Sure. We're gonna get it here in a minute, okay? I used concrete anchors to attach the unit to the concrete pad. All the electrical work is done and we can finally test our unit. It took me three days to finish the installation of my mini split system and as you can see guys it is working perfectly and I'm really really happy. If you like the video hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video with others. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.